Hello and welcome back to Humanizer. So I discovered a pretty critical error with the um, current version and in the 1.2 release. So if you use the game engine or Mixamo retargeted rigs, it was fine. But then when you change to default, you can see that the character is in T-pose, so the animation tree isn't working at all. And you can see it's throwing an error with the face animations, which was causing the facial mocap to not work because the default retargeted is the only rig supported that has the face bones. So um, the issue was I had deleted a file that needed to be there, so that was my fault. But I did, I pushed the fix to the current version and I made a 1.2 beta release. So this is a branch from the 1.20, and that was the stable release. And I decided to just push these changes to the 1.21. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm changing over here in the current version that has not been added to this release. And that's because like, I'm changing the structure of the human config and the, the plugin autoload, like scene names and stuff, um, kind of changing everything around. So I'm not ready to do the 1.3 release. So you can get the latest changes by downloading the zip file under code or from the, for the 121 beta release under the releases you can download the zip code and extract that. So I'll show you how to install it, but first, big thank you to Eero, Hilton, Terrence, and Ryan for patronizing me on patreon.com. So you can find the link in the description. I really appreciate it. So once you have it extracted, you'll want to copy the contents into your game folder add-ons. So this is the 121, but it'll be the same. So I just delete from the add-ons humanizer folder and replace all of the files and then you can open up the project. So once it's done loading, you'll want to open up the authoring scene under the scenes folder or any auto-updating humanizer node. And you can change the rig now to default retargeted. And you can see that the idle animation is working and it's no longer throwing the errors. So that did solve the problem. And if you do still have errors, you'll want to go to your faceposes.glb and under import, just re-import that. So Another issue that you may be having is if the menu doesn't show up at all when you click on the humanizer node. And if you installed it in a new project or had errors, it's probably just the plugin hasn't been enabled. So in your project settings under plugins, you'll want to enable it and make sure that the humanizer global is enabled as well, or that will throw different errors. So I'll be using the eye facial mocap. It does support the meow face as well, but you'll probably you'll need to change the port number to make it work for that, which you can find probably in the settings. So um, with the eye facial mocap, before you start streaming, you do need to you'll need to get your IP address. So in Windows, it's ipconfig. Um, in, in Debian, it's hostname dash capital I. So mine is 192.168.0.107. So you're looking for the local IP address. And then in the iFacial mocap app, in the settings, you'll need to make sure that this IP address matches so that this will, the mocap streaming will work. And once you have the IP address set up and the phone connected to the computer, you'll want to just enable the streaming. And now you can see that the 
animations do work. So that's still functional. Pretty cool. You can also record the clip. So if you just change the name of it and then hit recording, then you can make custom animations. And then in the animation player, you can load the face clips library or whichever file you saved it to, so face clip library, and we have take one and take two, and then you can, so as you can see, here's the clip that I recorded, and it's an A pose because it just doesn't record the body animations, so you'll want to, uh, You'll have to do a animation blending for that. And all of this functionality can be accessed through the face mocap node. So in the editor, in the inspector, you can find the buttons. So that's pretty much all. I just wanted to show you that it was still working. And this is the one to one branch as well as the experimental. Please let me know um, if you have any issues or suggestions. I love to hear your feedback. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.